Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine, reporting to you here today with Aaron Lang from Lang Twins Family Winery and Vineyard, located in Lodi. And here's Aaron to talk about vineyard mechanization, not just harvesting, we're talking about going beyond mechanized harvesting. We've got some serious labor issues in California and we need some answers. And here's Aaron to talk about how growers uh, can go about doing that. Well, thank you very much, Matthew. Um, I'm not sure if I have all the answers, but certainly I can uh, helpful, be helpful in steering people in the right direction. Um, I think the mechanization in the vineyard really has developed over uh, many, many years. I think we've got mechanical harvesting pretty much dialed in very well over the last 40 years, but we're really focusing on trying to mechanize other activities in the vineyard, such as suckering, shoot thinning, leaf pulling, uh, and pruning are the main ones that we're really focused in on because a big portion of our budget is spent on those on those activities in the vineyard. And so what are some hurdles that you've had to go through you know, as far as like, you know, trellis design? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't just go in there and just start mechanizing. Gotta... No, well, I think there are limitations. If you uh, tr wanted to try to convert an existing vineyard and then trying to make it more mechanized and to be able to use more machinery in there, I think that that's going to have some limitations because I really think that the best approach is a systems approach, meaning starting it from when you plant the vineyard that you're thinking about what variety am I planting, what kind of trellises am I planting it on, what height uh, am I putting it on, how many cross arms do I have, or do I have any cross arms at all. I think you need to really be thinking through how do you optimize the vineyard planting to really make it uh, most adaptable to mechanization going forward. Uh, and for us, that means a high cordon machine prune system, which is uh, planting the vineyard at 60 to 70 inches above the ground as far as the cordon level. Um, not having any cross arms or any wires above the cordon wire so we can come through and really be able to uh, box prune that at a very tight nine inch box uh, during pruning season and not have anything else in the way, wires or cross arms, uh, that would impede a, a blade or a saw or some, some type of machine uh, to, to get in there and do the treatment we want to do. And what about growers that have already, you know, they've already planted their vineyard, it's been there for years and they're not ready to replant. Mm -hmm. Is there things that they can do or adjustments they can make to better mechanize without well, replanting? Well, I think, um, you know, what is it, necessity is the, is the mother of all invention, right? So I think that we can, uh, there are many different uh, pieces of equipment out there which can help you leaf pull mechanically. I think uh, Palant and, and other vendors have come out with some amazing machines which can do a very good job to simulate hand leaf pulling. Um, as far as the shoe thinning is concerned, you can also, there are um, automatic shoe thinners and there are, there are many different things that you can do to help reduce your dependency and the cost of labor, even though your vineyard may not be designed from scratch to optimize it for mechanization. So there are things you can do, and you can also think about um, you know, re, uh, maybe grafting or retraining your vineyard and uh, adapting your trellis system. Um, if your vineyard has another 10 or 15 years of life, that may be the direction you want to go, thinking about where labor and costs are going in the next five years. And we think about ag overtime, and we think about rising minimum wage. Uh, those labor costs are going to jump significantly. So I think that some growers may want to make decisions on what kind of labor input that's going to be available to them to, uh, to grow their crop. Well, thank you, Aaron. You know, farmers are, are the best innovators, and, and we always have things coming up against us and challenges to overcome, and we're seeing uh, improvements made, and, and read more about it in American Vineyard Magazine. Mm -hmm. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.